Hey guys, it's me Soda. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm reviewing two of the new Rainbow Junior High Series 2 dolls. I have Bella and Amaya. Uh, these dolls are pretty new, like everywhere in the world, I feel like. So I'm really surprised that my country actually got them at a decent time for once instead of giving them like six months later. So I'm really excited about these because I really like Series 1 of Junior High. I've done a video on Sunny and Jade, who are my favorite from Series 1. Um, but I actually have like almost all of series one now because we also finally got those only recently as well We got these like a month after we got series one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I really like junior high I just think I don't know they just feel really nice You know what I mean? And they're fun to play with they have kind of better articulation than normal rainbow high dolls um, And I just think they're really cute I do wish that they came with a bit more and came with like stands and stuff I think that the price for them is like too high especially in New Zealand. It's uh really extensive but I only got them because it was buy one get one half price so I probably would not have brought them if it, if it wasn't for that but yeah I quite like some of the dolls from the series um these are the ones I'm most interested in I think the Bella looks really cute and even the Amaya I just think like I really like the white haired Amaya doll um I don't know how I feel about her fashion but she's cute um I think she's gonna be fun to restyle the other ones so these have uh, these are the same ones on the back so you can't see the other characters but I do want to get Crystal she's really cute but I just like hate the outfit they put her in I don't know why they didn't give her more like better clothes um, I don't like Stella I also like Karma as well I think she looks cute but I don't like Karma's color but I still might get those two but I'm not really a fan of Stella or um, River but I'm glad we got more of these dolls I really hope we get more junior high I'd love to see what they do for series 3 um, because series 3 has some really good doll designs in there so I really hope they do them justice. I, I hope they give them more stuff because I really feel like they don't come with much for the price you pay. Um, the bags are cute but they don't come with stands, they don't come with like even like, I don't know, Bella could have had like a little jacket or something. I think Stella's one's probably like the worst one, like she doesn't even have like a coat or anything, it's just an ugly sequin dress. Um, but these two, I like them. So I'm gonna review both of these, I'm also gonna compare them to their Original dolls, I do have them. I really like Bella's bag. Like, I had no idea how cute her bag was. Actually, I don't think I've seen any reviews of her. So, I assume these probably aren't super popular, but that's probably because there's so many Rainbow High like, coming out right now. Um, we don't get any of the other new ones. So, I would definitely understand people would probably choose those over these. Which I would as well, but we don't have any other new ones. These are the only new ones we got. Um, but we did get Shadow High and Pacific Coast, finally! <laughs> uh, so yeah, let me open these up and, uh, we'll take a look at them. Alright, I've got them open, so let's start with Bella Parker. Bella is so adorable. I think they did a really good job of her face. I just think her face looks really precious. She has this really cute fabric bow in her hair too, which is super cute. Uh, and she has her hair done up in a ponytail. It's got some product in it, so it's a little bit dented as well but that's fine I can wash it out it's a little bit messy at the back um yeah this it came like this so it's a bit annoying but I can just fix that um but she does have her hair like tied up like she has her hair wrapped around the ponytail which I think is a nice look the dress it, like it's pretty similar to one of her outfits on her main doll um but I think it's also like different enough I will compare it in a second um but I like the little like buttons it has on it and this little like top piece which I'm pretty sure is actually a separate piece yeah it's separate to her dress which is super cute look at this oh it's so cute so you could make a different outfit with that if you wanted to you could give her like a skirt or something instead so that's so cute um, it's nice that she does have two pieces because some of these characters only have one piece outfits I think it's actually just Stella who has a one piece outfit to be honest. I think the rest of them have more than one piece. Her hand is like really loose. That's alright though. Um, she does have nail polish on as well. You can see that. And she also has long socks on just like her normal doll. Which I love that they did that with this one as well because I really love the long socks. And these shoes are super cute with the big bows on them so adorable. Even though it is fairly similar to her original one, I think it's just super cute and preppy, you know, it, it makes sense for her. And the bag is so adorable. I think there's some paper in here. This is 
so cute. I love the like, little, little gems on it and the gold on it. It's such a nice touch. Like, this bag is so good. Look at the stitching. They do a really good job of the bags, I will say. Like, I really like all the bags that come with it. It has rainbow written on the bottom. That is so cool. This is so detailed. I'm, like, genuinely, like, really surprised with how detailed her bag is. Definitely one of the best bags out of all the junior high dolls. I'm really glad they all get fabric bags. It was just really nice. But I still don't think that that's really a good reason for the price to be quite high for these. But, you know, they're cute. You can put stuff inside the bag, too. They do open. Um, it's cute. She's so cute! Got a little bag on. These dolls do have head articulation, by the way, in case you didn't know. And all the normal articulation parts, they do have better leg articulation than the normal Rainbow High dolls. Like, they have, like, double jointed... Well, like, technically, I think they all have double jointed beans, but Junior High... The double joints actually work, which I really love. You can do lots of different poses like that. So let me just grab... This is Bella from Series 2. Look at them together. A little size comparison as well. Cute! And the dresses you can see, like, they're kind of similar, but still different enough. Super cute. And their faces... Similar, but different, you know. She's got that greasy skin, which, uh... I'm glad they stopped doing that. <laughs> but they look really cute together. I kind of wish the bow on her head was black. But the pink is cute as well, to be honest. So they still go pretty far. But, but the junior high definitely goes further. And easier as well. I definitely want to fix up her hair because it's a bit messy. Um, maybe I'll give her a different hairstyle too. I don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of just like the basic ponytail. I think it's a little bit overdone sometimes. But it is cute. Um, oh yeah, she came with a comb as well. They do come with little combs, but they don't come with like a stand or anything like that. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, here's Amaya. She came with a black comb. And this is white haired Amaya. She has a comeback, which I think she's kind of superior, like to be honest. I'm really glad that they gave this one white hair because it's super nice. I really love um, the white haired Amaya doll. I mean, I don't really pay that much attention to her, but she's just really pretty. I hated her outfit though. Horrible. I hated most of her outfit, so um, she's only got the skirt on, I think, from the outfit and the earrings. But her hair is really fun to play with. Like, I restyled it in these pigtails, and it's so fun and it's so long. So, I'm excited to also resell this of Maya's hair. I want to see how long it is when her hair's down. Because she also has hers in this ponytail. And she also has this little, like, random piece coming out, which I actually like. Um, it actually makes her hair look different to the other dolls, so I like it. There's a random short piece over here, I don't know where that's coming from. Is that from the bangs? I don't know. Um, but yeah, the same kind of style where it's like wrapped around the ponytail with hair, you know? Um, and she does have tinsel like the original White Hair Maya, which I like. I think it looks really nice, but I know some people hate the tinsel, but I like it. You can see the rainbow at the back of her hair. It's so pretty. Also, her hair feels way softer than Bella's. It's really nice and soft. I love this, like, subtle rainbow. It's really cool. This hairstyle actually goes pretty well with her because you can see the rainbow pretty easily with this hairstyle, so it makes sense. Oh, she's really cute. She has, like, rainbow eyeshadow too, which I like that they still gave this one rainbow uh, makeup because I feel like a lot of them... They don't have much makeup on when they're in the junior high ones, but I feel like Amaya would, you know? Their faces look so perfect. Like, no paint errors. That's a very rare thing for me. Usually mine have paint errors, but I guess it's better because I could actually choose these in store, which usually I can't do. Um, but I think it was actually really easy to find ones without paint errors for junior high, which is nice. Um, I like the hoodie. Well, I don't really like what the hoodie says. Like, I hate the ticks on it. I don't speak fashion, I am fashion. Like, I kind of cringe, but I guess she is a child, so it makes sense. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that does make a lot of sense. Yeah, okay, never mind, I take it back. That does make sense, because she is a child, and, you know, we all wear cringe things when we're children, so I guess it actually makes sense. I like that it's a hoodie. I just, you know, the text is, you know, it's something. Um, but, you know, the hoodie, hoodie's cute. Um, I'm surprised she's wearing a hoodie, though. It doesn't seem like her thing, but it's cute. Um, it has, like, rainbow little, you know, ties. And uh, these are actually gold, these little things here. Just cool. 
Um, and then the skirt. So she, yeah, she has no shirt on underneath. And then she has this kind of weird skirt, which I don't really get the skirt. I don't really know where they went with this kind of skirt, but I don't know. It looks kind of like a grandma made it. Wow, that's so mean. <laughs> I love the boots, though. The boots are really nice. And I'm usually not a huge fan of Rainbow High boots because I hate that they're like so plasticky and chunky looking but they've kind of improved the boots a lot more now now they're always making fabric boots which is so much better these boots are pretty amazing would a child wear boots i don't know i mean i guess amaya would um but they're cool as hell they're really detailed and i love that they're fabric they look so much better than the like plasticky boots that they used to make these are so good i definitely would hate these if they were just like plastic um they will kind of restrict her knee movement but that's expected with boots but she can still move them a bit with their boots on so that's not too bad they have like little ties and stuff as well and gold details they're really cool looking they look expensive she's one of them rich kids but i do feel like a hoodie is kind of a weird thing to go with like boots like this but i guess it's like ariana grande look oh is that what it is i don't really know anything about Ariana Grande but I'm pretty sure that's kind of what she used to wear right <laughs> I don't know maybe that's what they're going for oh yeah she has little clips in her hair too which is cute and here's her bag which is probably not my favorite out of all the ones that I've had so far but it's still really cute still really detailed what does it say rainbow of course it does I like the rainbow straps at the back these are really cute these feel really high quality too like, look at the little buckles and stuff. Yeah, it's cute, but probably not my favorite. And then here is the other white hair Amaya. She's the first Amaya that we got. Now, obviously, mine's been pretty restyled a little bit, but hey, they look together. They look so cute together. Their faces. The makeup's really different on these two. Maybe the makeup's more similar to her blue hair doll. But that's cool. They look really cute. I might have to give this one pigtails as well. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, because I really like, like, because of hair. It's so, it's so nice in this doll. Like, I don't know why people don't acknowledge how amazing this doll's hair is. It's so good. We need more dolls with hair this long. Like, it's just so fun. I want to do this forever. And how you can just kind of see the peaks of rainbow. Yeah, I mean, I really like these. I think they're so cute. I just think junior high is, like, really fun to play with. So I I'm surprised more people don't, like, pay attention to them. But I guess, you know, it's not for everyone, which is fine. But I think they're just really cute. <laughs> they're so cute. I definitely think that they should be cheaper, though, since they don't come with a lot. But they're really adorable. Um, I definitely want to get more of Series 2. I probably will get, like, Crystal at some point. She's adorable. So yeah, let me know what you think about uh, Junior High, if you collect them or not. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!